I got the name. Alrighty, February 25th meeting of the Rome Provincial Council. Yeah. Okay. Uh, First order of business is the approval of minutes for February 18th. Folks have a chance to look at them? Okay. We didn't actually meet on the 18th. Oh, that's right. It's the 11th. I changed the date. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to say we're, we're, we're not going to approve the minutes of the 18th. I'm glad you know it's a mile wide. All right, the 11th it is. The attention to detail is why we like them. That's right. Someone has to. Someone has to. <laughs> All right. Were there any additions, retractions, or, or, or are we okay with the eleven? I remember I haven't looked at them recently, but I looked at the one that first came out. Are we are we good then? No. Right. Community input. All right. Seeing none, we're going to move on to building inspector is not coming in this evening. I know that. Fire chief is going to be eventually. Highway. What do you got for us, George? Oh, that's 
saves them because those are shoes. Okay. All right, why don't we, I think we're probably safe for taking out the door pins. If that works for you. Would you rather have a building maintenance? We could split them too. That's not all. For the ones right. that go in the right. building. Right. Right. Alright. I think you're probably safer just doing equipment. I think the majority of them are actually going in the vehicle, right? Uh, just four of them going in the vehicle. Just four. Okay. I'll let you two figure it out. But how's that? Is there any other discussion on purchase order 1562? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Yeah, 
Okay. And then Nicole for dad. Okay. Um, so that's um, not Pine Street. It's uh, Locust Street. Right there. Yeah, the red. Got the bike right there before the ball red. When it comes to water, it comes around the back side of the building. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought it was in front of the first thing. No, okay. so the, no, no. the back parking lot of the lease, like the side entrance there? Right. I Way down it. further end towards the boat ramp. Okay. And where the water, where the okay, water yeah. comes around the back of the building, it makes the turn. I don't know if there's a cross cut with there. We didn't go that far down, did we, though, with paving? Even the... The whole street was paved. Some right. of it was reclaimed. Right. Okay. But the whole thing right. got paved. But we, well, we only re did the full reclamation I think it was from to Silver Street to around the pump station, maybe. So that side no. was reclaimed? Like, I, I think... The other side was, too. I thought it was just... Yeah, there. you're right, because I remember it at the top of the hill. If that wasn't reclaimed... I'd have to look at the file. Then, you know, that could be anything over there. Right, right. Might be just for us, but it's lifted quite a bit. There's quite a crack across the road. How close is it to the pump station? Not at all. Not at all. And if it went to the pump station, that means we reclaimed over that culvert. If there's a culvert there, but I don't know. We'll have to look at the file. We'll check the file then, but we can't do anything about it until spring anyway. Anyway, no, no. I just wanted to bring it up and let you know there's an issue. So there's a culvert further down, though, right? Where the pond is on one side and, yes. the, and the boat ran. There's a culvert there. Right. Okay, but you're saying it up one. a little further. I don't know if there's another culvert there or if that's just the water got under there from all the water that we've had across to the roof. Where that's fine. Right. So, yeah. so that's, that's what I was thought, talking about. About the one over by the, yes. yeah, the little so it's swampy it's area. Further up. Okay. Yeah. This is just after the pike mm -hmm. Okay. But there's, you, you can tell when you drive over it. No, I'll, I'll leave that way and go down. Mm -hmm. I'll try and take a look at it. It is quite a hit. Mm -hmm. And the one on General Sullivan just the opposite of six. Okay. okay. But that just goes to the issue that I've been coming up with. Okay. All right. Something to look at. I contact, contacted a couple of paving companies to come in and give us some quotes. We'll have some quotes to look at when uh, we find the, find the projects we're talking about. Uh, Roberts and yeah. um, Whitman, right? Yeah. And some of Sligo. Yeah, just, just getting some pricing and see what mm -hmm. compare them. Um, for what? For what? Right. Overlays and stuff. Right. Just to get some other quotes. Well, other quotes besides what we have from um, As I heard, there's from Pike. Some significant price differences from Brock's and between Brock's and Pike's when someone we've got some quotes. Oh, okay. So it's probably worth taking a look at. Can revisit those again then? Okay. All right. Anything else for us, Joe? Uh, I don't have the bill for the truck yet, but it is fixed and it's running a little bit I was going to ask you about the truck. Okay. It's right. running a little bit better? Is that what you just said? It's running. Mm -hmm. it's, oh. it's not, you know, back to full. You know, it runs. It's, it starts. It's doing a lot. It's starting a lot better than it has. <laughs> it's not stalling. He's lowered the bar. <laughs> It, it, it's not new. It's in service, though, so it's, it's working. It's working. It's working. Okay. But I can understand why. I mean, I, I plugged with that last Tuesday. I don't know how they plugged with the truck. They can simply tell me pretty challenging. challenging. Okay. And that wasn't a lot of snow, so. Mm. Uh, nothing else for me. Anything else for George? Uh, there's dog waste. Oh, oh, that's okay. not, that's, that's. Oh, okay. Just, do you have any in stock? We don't have I any. Imagine you we want to put them all up, right? Yeah. Well, no, but, but when Dr. Um, Dr. Mike bought them, um, down the village, I bought them for us. How many did he buy? Four or six. I, have, I haven't seen any. We need some or no? So there's been a complaint on 4th Street of, um, of waste being not being picked up. And, and a couple of residents have asked if we could put more signs up. We're going to revisit it after, after the budget passes one way or another. So we'll talk about it then after the election, but it's a, it's a placeholder at the moment as far as I'm concerned. But we don't have any. We put them all out, the ones that we have, so we would need to look to see how much it would cost. Uh, I, I have to take my dog in for the early appointment, so I'll ask him how much he paid for them. Yeah. See who we got on the phone so they can get, you know, get the same one in the next couple of weeks, so it's not like this. Well, okay you, with that. You're not putting signs up right now unless you... No. Right no, we're not. Areas. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not putting up right now, so... All right, anything else for George? Sorry. All right, thanks, George. Have a good night. Thanks, George. Thanks, George.
время. Here, here. Number 1586 to Neptunes for one bulletproof vest for Officer Brooks for $700. Move purchase order 1586 to Neptunes in the amount of $700 for a bulletproof vest. Second. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor of purchase order 1586 say aye. Aye. Opposed? How is Officer Brooks doing? Doing very well. I guess I should have asked before if we bought him a $700 vest or anything. He needs it either way. <laughs> and when I was here last, uh, I talked about uh, getting an estimate to have the exterior light fixtures replaced oh, with yeah. LED units yeah. and to replace all five with Mr. Electric. It's $980.37. And I have noticed tonight that when I came out of the PD, both of our bulbs are now out downstairs as well. So there's $12 there, $12 for these two that need to be uh, replaced. So I think in the long run, LED is the way to go uh, with these fixtures. Cheap, but that's an install to install press. So, correct you take it. Just come out of building maintenance. Now, does this does this cover the two that you just said went out as well? Yes. This, this, this makes that. Yes. Okay. It's every single exterior light fixture in the building. Okay. Are these uh, these are ones that will stay on all the time, or are they like motion? They're on timers. On time, yeah. Okay. All the exterior lights in this building are on timers. Is it? Um, I don't know. I mean, it seems like a lot of money, but is it worth getting another estimate, or is this is kind of probably what it is? <laughs> I think you can find that's probably what it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these are commercial grade LED fixtures, and they're not the Home Depot kind of ones I would get. So, yeah. yeah. And it's what, six of them? Five. Five of them, yeah. So, just under $20. Yeah, all right, DJ. What would the board like to do? Move purchase order 1586. So, uh, do you have so a I have to How convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric, in the amount of $980.37. I make a motion to approve purchase order 1585 from Mr. Electric. Replace five exterior fixtures with LED fixtures. Second that. 980.37. Yep. Second. Okay. Yeah. Uh, purchase order 1585 has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Further discussion? Should have asked that. Uh, no. All right. Seeing that, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Does that, that comes out of the town hall? Town hall makes sense. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the last thing that I have for the board is, depending on your schedule next Monday, I would like to bring in our uh, newest candidate. Okay. Uh, to meet the board for meet and greet. And should you have any questions, ask of him. Right. I don't this think we have any. Scott's replacement? Pardon me? This is Scott's replacement? No, this is Jamie's. Jamie, I'm sorry, Jamie's, Jamie's replacement. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, I, I'm good. I don't know about anyone else. Are we all, we don't have anything else? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, sure. Bring them on. So, do you want to um, put you on the agenda for for first thing for six thirty? Would that be the best thing? Or sure. Do you want to come in? Okay. Sure. Come in later if you want. Yeah. Whatever is easiest. Do we have anything else for the There's. Do, do, uh, Mike's got a personnel issue. 
did you have a conversation with him regarding um, meeting us not happening now? He, he's aware. Oh. Yes, I, okay. Know. All right. Well then, um, yes. are we good? Yes, we're good. If the individual comes in tonight, just give me a text. Thank you. And if I'm not here, I'll send it to you. Just oh, stand okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Might be good to have that. How about that? All right. Well, you're up next, so I need a motion to go into non-public session to deal with welfare petitions. Motion to go into non-public. Second. Okay, welfare. Well, yeah. Motion seconded. Uh, roll call, Denise. Yes. Uh, yes. Miles. Yes. Mike. Yes. All right. I forgot who I was. For non-public session for welfare, six fifty-one. So we, we do not have any. Um, action items as far as cases go this evening, but while we're talking about welfare, I want to um, um, have a discussion, or if we don't need a discussion, adoption of the, the uh, long-anticipated uh, guidelines that we've, uh, we've uh, talked about sort of in the abstract for a couple of years now. You all have, but I have. And <laughs> we've been talking about the last couple of months anyways. So, have folks have had a chance to review them? Yep. Okay. Are there any questions, concerns, or comments we need to make on it, or changes, or are they good? Okay. So what I would like is a motion to accept. What's the date on that? Motion to accept the Town of Rollinsville Welfare Guidelines. There's no date on it. There's a date on the back. I'm sorry. Um, well, just that you've approved. Oh. And it is dated in the Adopted letter. on the 25th. Of okay. The version that. That's uh, 18. Okay, I'll fix that. Thank you. The version um, as proposed for what, today, the 25th? Sure. Okay, okay so moved by Denise. So second that. Second it. Okay, so this will now bring us into um, uh, Concord with um, Rochester, Summers, with Dover, all the surrounding community, New Hampshire communities. So we all have similar welfare guidelines. Yes, and so that's people wonderful. don't shop around game the system and all that business. And this consistency. Yes. The, but just as importantly, for the folks that are applying, they have um, a certain level of service right. everywhere. Right. Yeah, that's, and that's important as well. So. Okay. Um, so it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 And we will all fix our names to, uh, to it. Wonderful. So that's it. Here. Chief, come on up. Sorry. Okay, I just want to do this Chief, while we were. Can from you first, please? <coughs> I'm just going to show us something that just popped up. sense to send out the voter guide um, to give an update as to any action that was taken by the the first part of the of the meeting which was the delivery session was worth the scale of sorry. Um, well, Caroline and I are working on a draft of that for everyone for next week to take a look at. So, unless there's some sort of objection to doing it, but it seems to make sense that uh, to give an update to folks, you know, that if there were any changes, that sort of thing. I think this is probably should be a good practice for for every year, uh, especially if considering that the delivery of session can um, make changes uh, if they want to, and they can make changes to petition for an article. That um, I don't think was clear at the uh, at our first delivery session. I was reading in the newspaper about. I didn't think it could either. It was not clear, but I'm trying to think what town it was. But they, um, they did. They, oh, uh, Exeter. They changed um, the petition war article. Yeah, you're allowed to change the petition war article. Who 
move. They did next year, unless they broke That's the law. The obsession. And the delivery obsession. Yeah. Uh, Listen, I'm, I don't live there as so well. Whatever. But hmm. something to think about for next year. I, I assume Charlie does a due diligence, so, but maybe extra was wrong. But yeah, there was a. They wanted a tax cap, um, and someone, the proponent, uh, or proponent rather, had set it at three percent, I think, and um, the delivery section changed it to thirty <laughs> percent. <laughs> so, and then the gentleman that I proposed originally is suing the town of Exeter now to get his name taken off of it because he's very angry at that. Uh, the, but whatever. Right. Uh, drama that we don't need to deal with, but it's something to keep in mind. Sorry. Well, we're waiting for you. We were talking about our next item on the agenda, but please, what do you have for us, Chief? You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I got a couple POs I wanted to clean up and get squared away. And then something else I want to. I'm sure you've probably already seen this stuff from Carol and uh, Some of these are the, uh, the training uh, ones that I've been talking about, the guys that we have in class. I just want to get them cleared up now that we're just about to the budget season and turn it over. So, um, first one I have is a purchase order 1513. It's to the state um, Department of Safety for one of our guys that's taking his level two class. Uh, it's been sponsored through the fire academy. He's taking it in Exeter, I think. And uh, it's with firefighter Colin Rose, and it's five hundred and forty dollars for his class. All right, I will move purchase order 1513 to the State of New Hampshire Department of Safety for $540 for firefighter, firefighter level 2 training. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Uh, all of those in favor of purchase order 1513 say aye. 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 Opposed? I was waiting for the invoice. That was going to be matched. Then I wasn't sure. And my second one is fifteen fourteen. This one goes to Larry Stratton. This is for the six individuals, which is kind of an unheard of number that we have going through level one. Oh wow! To be certified, they're more than halfway through. Wow. Um, I kept in contact with them. They're all doing very well. I saw Larry. Uh, he's the assistant chief in North York, and he's the uh, coordinator of the class. And he's very impressed with the folks that we have there. Um, they're paying for half of this themselves right. because it is level one. I think I explained that before that I make them pay for it. We're not going to put the whole bill for them. And uh, once they get the certificates, then we'll work on that with it. But this is for the six individuals. And it's 15, 14, it goes to the strap, and that one's for 21. All right, let's move on. Uh, I move purchase order 14, uh, 15, 14 for Mary Strathen. Second. For firefighter certification for course one and two for firefighters Blair. Oh yeah, no, no. What's his last name? Starts with an M I G. Oh, Miglianico. That one. Uh, <laughs> Pierce. I'd say for six firefighters. Six firefighters. <laughs> 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 what do you want? Peter Jones and Smith and all of those. Oh, we don't get those names anymore. Twenty-one hundred dollars for training. Okay. Set. Okay, so. We we pay for half, and they had to pay for the other half. But isn't there the we the understanding that if they leave before a certain amount of time, they they, they have to they have to pay it back, right? Yep. So, yep. There is a form where they have to sign. So this is the half. That is up. our half. Our half. That's our half. That's our half. That's correct. Okay. And the training budget is seven thousand. So between these two things, we're, we're talking like less than three fourteen. So we still have a fair amount in there. But there's some other things I want to talk about about training as we go along that I found out. That could benefit us. Is there any other questions or discussion of purchase order 1514? All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Well, good luck. Six new. Uh, yes, six new points. That'd be, that's, that's an enormous one. We don't see six new people in two years and we get them all one shot. So we're very happy with that. And some of them are very good. But it's a typical same old story. We'll have them for two years and then they'll fly off. Land someplace else, but we don't really utilize it to that point. Last one I have is 1512. It's to fire tech and safety, and this is for parts and pieces that we needed for one of our uh, four gas meters. The, the uh, shelf life on the sensors is usually a year to 18 months. Well, these ones made it to the 18 months. We need to get a new 
LEL sensor and an oxygen sensor, because those are the ones that we use the majority of the time in the, for uh, measuring atmospheric conditions when we have seal calls and whatnot. So it's three hundred and seventeen dollars forty cents out of the hazmat budget, and uh, we'll get the meter up and running. We have three of the meters, and we had one on both the engines because we only had one for the longest time. We'd have one truck go out and one day and call for another piece of equipment, so it doesn't make sense. So. All right, I'll move purchase order 1512 to Fire Tech and Safety of New England for 317.40 for um, oxygen sensor atmospheric monitoring. I have LEL sensor. That works. Sensor. LEL That's works. the LOL sensor. Second. Second. Purchase order 1512. Well, second. Excuse me. Any other questions or discussion? And all those who favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? I use lethal explosion level. No. In other words, don't go there. Because the meter is set up, it has a 10% uh, safety factor. So if you are uh, getting in an area and already starts beeping at you, you're already well beyond where they are. So. The last thing I have is this kind of camera at, at use. Are they aware of our firefighters? Yes, yeah, they're so aware they, of. All right, I just want to kind of discuss a little bit of that. Here, right? I had a meeting with Dave Woodward and I had a discussion on that uh, Friday morning and it was concerning from that and there was a lot of um, good information that came out of that. She also said, I have a flyer, I don't know if you've seen that. Um, I saw that, thank you, you through the email. Um, no. Okay, they made this video. Oh, okay, then I'll be happy to have it, thank I you. I have a meeting with the fire station. All right, thank you. We set up the meeting. He's going to come in, it's going to be an hour and a half long, and he's going to cover a lot of the areas that uh, my abilities and whatnot that the guys are responsible so that they can know exactly what is available to them and not available to them. So folks understand for people driving their personal vehicles to respond to calls going to the fire station. Right. And if you have a, an issue, some of the things that will happen with that. But he's also going to get into other things on driving habits and classes that are available. I found out through Mr. Witham that um, I don't know, about four years ago now, we ran a driver operator class. But since then, Primex has signed a contract with the fire academy. If we run that again and I'm all over it now, they will pay for it. Oh, good. It's no cost to the community. Good. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of different classes like that that they can do that we can put our people so that it's not going to cost us any money. Because we had a discussion on what qualifications we need our drivers to have. Mm -hmm. And we have a very generic um, uh, SOP. But, but in my world, I want them to be certified by the state and driver operator because it covers a lot of liabilities and issues and gives them a lot deeper level of training and also helps them with the resume because we don't want to mention them someplace else. So I want to pursue that and we will. We're going to set that up because we had six guys that went through that and out of those six guys, only like two of them that are really around anymore. Right. So I have another group. We'll fire them up and send them in so we can have Because, I mean, there's been issues before where, okay, we'll send somebody to teach them to drive a fire truck. That's fine. You can get it there. But there's a lot more things the fire truck has to do. Like, able to flow water, you know, water in, water out, and mm -hmm. proper pressures in these classes and the certifications cover on that whole gamut of operating the fire truck. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to try to uh, augment with some I, of our people. Do you need a commercial driver's license for the. Not required. Should we? Is it better for you? Yes. Yes. So a lot of guys go out and get their CDL with the air brakes and the tank endorsement. If they want to go drive an oil truck or something, it's the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a requirement for us to have them do it, but it's highly encouraged. And three quarters of the department have it. Really? Well, yeah. that's great. And they do it on their own. The only thing that we supply them with is the vehicle. Right. So, you know, we have to I wouldn't expect them to buy their own fire truck to, <laughs> to take those. Yeah, well, sometimes they've gone down there with like a, you know, something that's an oil truck or something. Right, like right. That, but it's a entirely different animal, so sure. It's no, happening. it's an expensive piece of equipment, so if we want them as well trained as possible. That's I don't want them to damage exactly, them, so. what I, exactly what I want to see, too. Because I don't want to go through any other issues with the right. with things that have happened in the past, not so much here but other places. So we try to alleviate that. If we get all these guys trained, and we give them all the certifications. It's just better for us. But we'll do that. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
Right. And it's the same thing that Dave Whittle is going to have. Is they're going to get certificates that they show if they've done this training and whatnot so that they can help them with their auto insurance and other things that they need to do. But you've, you've had these classes. Right. There's a lot of win win kind of stuff. Right. Right. So, that's all signed, sealed, and delivered. And we'll have it, so. And so is that, is, that's not next Monday. Like, when is it? No, so it's the 25th. 25th. The 25th, so the end of the next month, right? Yes. Like a month from today. All right. So it might make sense for us to either, what time is that again? It's at 6.30. 6.30. Either send someone who might want to go to it, representing us, or we could, um, we could meet earlier, maybe, or uh, meet later. I mean, yeah, I, I would I like to go. It might make sense to go. go. Yeah. So if we maybe meet at 5.30 and have a, mm -hmm. try to have a short. Mm -hmm. Have a short meeting over there? Yeah. It'll be after, it'll be after, I just want to, it'll be after um, town elections. So, business picks up a little bit right after that. But anyway, so the 25th? Yes. At 6.30. 6.30. Well, I think there's a lot of gray areas that I didn't, I wasn't aware of. I think Carolyn was even the same way. I had some discussions and just to make sure that the town is protected and everybody's on the same page. Yeah. yeah. That's a huge, huge thing to do. All right, so, uh, so let's put it as a placeholder right now, um, Caroline, and then um, once we get a little closer to the time, we can decide whether or not we want to start earlier or, or forego mm -hmm. for the meeting that that, that week. And, mm -hmm. and, and you do have one meeting after town meeting the 18th, before this one. This would be the second one after election. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We can always meet another night too if we had to. Right, right. I, that was my next suggestion. So if we had to, we could do that too. All right, well, I've got it on the calendar for 6 30 at least, and then we can discuss it when we get closer to it. We don't have to say that. But obviously, we want to be there. So. Good. And I think that would be great because, you know, you guys like the groundwork. Our combination will be the time we came down with all the members, and they still talk about that. So with this kind of a, um, a class going on, representation was representation was back there, that's just gonna augment what you guys already started. So mm -hmm. okay. for those guys to see that. And we'll get our education as well. Right. Yeah, you may have some I mean, there's that certainly un understand some gray areas that just aren't really understood. I think that's really why we're good to because yeah. this would affect all departments technically. Yes. I mean yes. the sure. so I think it's important for us to get them to understand you know, what well, yeah, just the town insurance yeah, or anything but that comes up. Anybody could be responding to an emergency. Right. We should open it up to the other departments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Or at least I mean, being able to have us. Anybody that wants to it. come, we've got plenty of room for them. Mm -hmm. Set that up. You know, we'll reach out to Chief Jordan or whatever, and do Sean and those folks. Come yeah. yeah. on down. Yeah. Uh, cover everybody. Yes. Good idea. Nice. Do we have anything else? Either for the chief or from the chief. Mm -hmm. right. It looks like there will be a pancake breakfast on Saturday for anybody. This Saturday? Yes. Uh -huh. For Saturday the month we're trying to get back right. to business. Heat Saturday. working at the fire station. Mm -hmm. Heat? Working anyway. Heat's been working great as far as the fire station. It's warmer than it is in here. Oh really? <laughs> well I only run it at 62. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're running. <laughs> no, like all right, so what really? time did breakfast start? Uh, start at 7. 7, all right, I'll sit around 9. Ten. You'll see the sign, though, <laughs> uh, as a reminder. Right. Uh, they're recruiting because okay. I, I kind of put a stipulation on there that it does not happen unless you have six to eight people. So yeah. I'm not going to use the four or five unless that show up. So all right. they have to round up the folks. Right, I'm now. Going. Enjoy the Get back into it. Do you have a discussion from George about 27 Cricket Drive? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Corning residents. He said 24. Kurt Corning. Oh, thank you. Uh, he didn't tell us who it was, but yeah. So apparently they have um, they have a drainage issue over there. Yeah. This is like the third time with these kind of storms where we've had a little bit of snow and then it comes to rain and the ground is still frozen. Right. Cricket lane at the bottom is a cul-de-sac. Right. They're, and they're at the bottom. Right? Yeah. And they go off to the right. And 
they had the driveway down a few years ago. They had a little bit of a raised burn there, and okay. it will feed the water away. But the way it was running the other day is it cut short, and then it went around and was coming down both sides of the driveway. Huh. So he had three feet of water in his driveway, two feet in the garage, and a foot of water trying to get into his utility room. So they had a little small on their own sump pump when they finally right. decided maybe they need some help. Right. Once we got there and put our equipment into service, we had it wrapped up inside of an hour. All right. But there is a swale which runs just off of his property to Boundary Street. Okay. And apparently it's an easement. This is what the homeowner was telling me. That's town property. That's the water district, right? It could be. Mm -hmm. A few years ago when Jeffrey Bergeron was the road agent, many, many moons ago, I guess you would remember, Jeff. Mm -hmm. He was in there at one point with one of the backhoes or a bobcat or something. Like that. I would have said it 10, 12 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. At least that long. Yeah. More than that, I probably. More than that. And the homeowner seems to think if that was dredged, if that's the proper term again, it might remediate some of his problem. But that was a discussion we had the other night. I saw George this morning and passed it on to him. I guess he passed it on to me. Yeah. Yeah. said um, something that you know, they might be able to leave you for him. It's the bottom of the hill and everything's running down that way. It's so been the perfect storm this winter because the ground's frozen yeah. and it turns, snow turns into that rain and it just channels yeah. it everywhere. And this is the fourth one of those we've been on this winter. So, yeah. Thank you. A lot of water. So. You did, thank you. Um, I didn't realize they said there was an easement. According to the homeowner. Oh, well, I know we can check and see if there really Yeah. Is. You can stand out in the road at the end of his driveway and you can see where it runs off. Right parallel to his property to head to Boundary Street. Right. So you can tell that it's there. No yeah, matter sure. whose it is, he right. seems to think it's time property. So I just want to pass that on. Oh, I'll that. Thank you. Would that be so wire? Is that where the, the well is? Mm -hmm. It is. Behind there? Yes. I don't that know right if there. that's the adjacent property exactly, but that is behind there. It, it all kind of like goes down into mm -hmm. a. Um, the culvert on um, Pine Street, that waterway, mm -hmm. goes like behind there. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if that's water sewer district property. I, it kind of sounds like it might be. Either way, there should be a record of the easement. Mm -hmm. Right. If it's on their property, it would be indeed, and we can look up the deed. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, as long as it was recorded. Yes. I just want you to know. Which doesn't always happen. Get right. it all out there so it's active on. So if, it, if Kurt comes in and says anything, we'll see it. We're working. Excellent. Well, we solved this issue last night, so it's oh, that's good. But Thank you for that. Good information to have. Anything else for the chief? Good. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Very good. Very good. See you Saturday morning. All right. All right. Okay, so we talked about the voter guide that we'll be working on a draft for next we'll have Monday. Um, it needs to be approved next Monday to get to the printer in time. I am working to try to get it to you so that you have time to review it before. Okay. <laughs> All right. Budget. Any other questions for that? Okay. Budget committee because of secretary position. So John has found the candidate that he would like out of the two. He'd like to have the other person as a backup. It seems to make a whole lot of sense actually to me. Um, the next step is uh, Caroline. Um, having a conversation with the individuals and then making a recommendation to us and we will either hire or not hire the two people. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Alright. I didn't think he had um, response back on the second one. He finally it was, did. It was later. Did. It was okay. after he sent that email. Oh, okay. Right. The person finally responded. Mm -hmm. That's good. And that person will be the backup person. So. Okay. Alright, are we good with that? A backup candidate, not a, not a second. No, a backup um, uh, uh, secretary. A fill-in. 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 Because inevitably there are times when people, whether it's sure. that board or a different board, can't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can utilize it for another board as well. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's really important. Because we don't have that right now. That is a plus as well. You mentioned that to the candidate. There could be also filling in for the select board or planning board. I mean, that's a, a good thing to have. It's enormous. Yes. Right. Recreation. I think you were talking about sports engine um, set up for you Okay, so um, Rec is getting their 
program together, and they came across, um, they, they use a, a software uh, sports engine, yep. and the previous year they were using a um, free-to-charge one, yep. and um, didn't have a lot of accounting, uh, reporting and stuff that would help us, the Caroline side, and, and, and for the rec committee as well. There is um, another one, it was almost 700 and something, do you remember? I didn't write it. It was something like that. It was less yeah. than $1,000. It was less than $1,000 to have it. Um, it. We didn't budget it because we're just looking into it now, but it does have a lot of um, uh, software abilities and stuff. However, I just wanted to let you guys know about this because it's something we probably will do next year. The committee has decided to pursue the free of charge one this year because we didn't have it in the budget and Makes we sense. don't really have that flexibility for that kind of money sure. there. I mean, it was pretty tight already. Yeah. So, but just to let you know, I mean, is it something do you think that you would support it um, based on? I, I, do, I, do, I, I need to have more information. Like, what is it? Yeah. What does I, it do? What are, absolutely. When I would have um, both of the chairs come and discuss sure. it going we'll go forward. forward. But, really um, it's something that would help Caroline especially with report, reporting, accounting reporting for her um, when for the they, when they um, do it reports online. For the and the reports for the auditor. Yeah. So, um, but we will have more information okay. in the fall going forward. We'll at, least it, at, at least they're still going to keep the uh, well, we're, we're going to still use it. Option. It was an ideal. We did have no, problems with it, but we know what our problems are now. Right. Um, and they are going to do paper forms again, too, for those who don't have online access. Okay. They have a lot of fees that was outrageous for larger families because it was per child. Um, um, so it was, but we're going to go ahead and do it. It's convenience of being able to use a credit well, card. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, that's the, installments if you and want to be able to use your card, then it's a, you have to yeah. pay the, the, that charge. Right? Yeah. So this convenience company charges, fee. so do those charges exist with the pay version or only with the free version or, or both? Um, I think there was some fees for the pay version, but not as much. As it was with the, um, with the, uh, it's basically because they're going to make their the money. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Um, but um, we need we need something because um, people getting their applications in and stuff just didn't work very well. So actually, I think Jody's the one that came up with Sports Engine the, so, yeah. uh, last year, yeah. and and it has its flaws, but we know what they are now, so we'll keep yeah. the better um, on top of things better. I think knowing what it is, but uh, Dee has done a great job, and uh, Dee uh, Nihak mm -hmm. has done a great job in going through it and working. They are supposed to also do some revision reports for us on the free version. So she's hopeful that we'll have at least something better um, than we had last year. So, but uh, we will be going forward with it um, this year with the, the same program. So. Thank you for that. Uh, bank mileage. You, you missed one. No, I haven't had D. Oh, I'm well, sorry about that. I didn't put my glasses on, so I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, department had meetings. Um, I asked Carolyn to put that on there. I was um, here a day last week when I was chatting with George, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks ago. Um, he, he and I, I spaced out when, when everyone, all the department heads were here. Um, <laughs> But I know we started to talk about this before budget season hit. Mm -hmm. I just thought maybe he, he thinks it's a good idea for right, department heads to get together on a monthly basis. Just so I will send out. A, you know what? I won't uh, send out an email asking them if they want to do it this time. I'll send out an email telling them what day it is. That's yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. And you're having any meeting now? The department head meeting. Uh, I think in the past we did it during uh, working hours so they didn't have to come back at night. Okay. So I would I would try to do it in the morning. Okay. I mean, I am very restricted about doing something during the day. So. Mm -hmm. um, just yeah. I mean, I, I, I have probably more flexibility, but... Um, uh, so do you all want to be at this meeting? I'm sorry. Let me back up. I thought the way we left it was one of us was going to... All those meetings that had fallen on me. If you oh, want to do it, I don't remember. If we that. want That's to okay. do it, I, okay. I don't have. We don't have to do it that way. We can revisit it for sure. <laughs> do it at night if that's easier. That's what we want to do. I mean, um, um, I think having one board rep makes sense. And if less intimidating. Yeah. Let's yeah. start it that way. 
All right, so let's uh, start it that way. That's what I was thinking. We do it in the morning bef before I have to be to work. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they're all here by then anyway. Mm -hmm. So, but they're at eight. And I'm going a little late. So. All right. Well, I will send out an email to them. Um, he, he also mentioned, and this isn't on the agenda, but um, that he would like the, the board to schedule a time with the transfer station and the highway department employees. Yes. Much like we did. Yep. Perfect. We had talked about doing that and with the police department mm -hmm. um, at one of their, um, is it monthly they do a counter or is it weekly? Um, when they are, they're all together. Police? Yeah. I'm not aware. I think it's only, as far as I know, it's only for training. Training nights? Nice. I, 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 don't, I don't know that. I would check All right. the phone. So we'll try to work that they out. They have the Benevolent Association meeting. So it would be, I don't know. That might be that might work, yeah. get together. I don't know. I'm not sure what the attendance is with that. Yeah. All right. So yeah, no, it's still my intention to go with uh, police and Thank you for that reminder. Thank you, <laughs> So, uh, the, um, we've had to switch uh, bank branches. We haven't switched banks. But the, starting um, April 1st. Starting April 1st. So it actually hasn't happened yet. But the Citizens Bank on Portland Avenue will no longer be open for regular banking. It's going to be... I don't remember. The the loans. Yeah, so that's okay. That's what it was. An investment yeah. center or whatever they're billing it as. So it's just not going to be open to us or anyone to do their actual banking at. Uh, so the next closest options are either Dover, right? Downtown Dover or downtown Summersburg. The staff here and the treasurer uh, all would prefer to go to uh, downtown Summersburg, mm -hmm. which is fine by me. It's not to me. Um, however, now um, the staff is asking for mileage, is that my understanding? Am I getting that right? Yes. Okay. To travel to, uh, to the bank, so. I did a mileage check. Okay. I, don't, I went from Town Hall door to Dover on Portland Avenue back to Town Hall. Yeah. What was it? Do you remember? I it was seven and a half seven miles and a half. For, the, for the new location. And then it was, it, it's like miles. 0.7 miles more to go to Summersburg. Round trip. Round trip. Right. So I'm not sure if why that makes such a big difference on um, now asking for mileage. Right. It's, if, it, if, if we made him go downtown Dover or if we made him go somewhere else, I would see that that was a way you convenience just dealing with downtown Dover. But, I mean, it's just, well, you know where it is. It's unconstitutional. But... So, just wanted to put it out there. I know that if they ask for it, we can't, we can't refuse them. I'm, I just I, don't understand. Why I don't know. Why. I didn't know if they were asking or if they weren't asking before, so I don't even know. No, we've never paid miles. We've never, never paid miles. Yeah. Um, and only one person said that with the change, they're going to expect mileage reimbursement. Okay, well, I guess we'll wait to see if they put in for it. Right, I mean, well, it's not budgeted. You understand that, right? I understand okay. that. I mean, that would be, um, if we're asking an employee to use their personal vehicle to go do our banking for us, I think we have to probably pay the mile down. I'm not sure why they didn't do it before. Unless we have a, uh, a town vehicle that they can drive or be driven in to go do the banking. So. I'm just not. I mean, it's not like it's five or ten miles longer. That, I mean, I it, that would certainly would understand it, but I don't understand why it's, don't it's an issue now that it's... 0.7 miles round trip. So. so it's starting in April, right? So we'll see if there's still that desire again. To um, it may have just been from an immediate reaction. Oh, I have to go to this other place. It's not like we're we're not forcing them to. It's the bank is closing that branch to us. So, but and they chose right collective. We didn't. We didn't dictate it. No. They, they decided chose that one. And with in concert with the treasurer. Well, just because it's the closest one, which. It's yeah. a good bank too. I mean, they big problem. Burn deals with them. Yeah. So, so I don't think it's a problem. And, uh, well, I we'll have to figure it out if they actually put in for it. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it really is something they want 
or they were just aggravated that they have to, and they were saying, well, I'm going to put in for mileage now to see what we said. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to assign motives, so. But um, we'll deal with it when it comes up. How many trips are being made? Mm -hmm. uh, they do, go, they do, do they go daily? Not daily. Um, at least weekly. Depends on the season. Yes, yeah, so I think right. on the... So there, there are yeah. some times when it's daily, right. but that lasts for a couple of weeks. It's not usually the case. What do, what do we reimburse for mileage? 50 cents? 50 it cents is federal, whatever right? the IRS reimbursement rate is, which changes annually. Right. Last year it was 54 and a half cents. I think it's 55 now. It's going to be about $4 a trip. So, but that's a week that could be. That could have been a thousand dollars, but it could be. Like you said, you can't, you can't deny you them, but I just not. My them. point is, I don't yeah. know what change to make it so right. that we're going to get it when it's not that much more mileage yeah. wise. But it's just not convenient for one versus the other because it's going in another direction. So that would be I, it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I guess what. I would just say we should just wait for us to break when we get into it. I mean, I don't know if they're really actually going to put it in. But we should be cognizant of the fact that we could potentially have a, um, during certain times of the year, taxes in particular, $200 a week uh, reimbursement, or perhaps $4 a week, depending on the time of year. So, so when we're looking at the budget for next year, we should keep that in mind. If they actually follow through, if they don't, then... We probably still should be looking at it because we can't. Yeah. We, we should be. We should be probably prepared for it in case it does happen. Mm -hmm. So that's my opinion. But, okay. Are we good with bank mileage for now? Mm -hmm. Policy review. We did that already. Yay! Thank you for that. All right. Town administration board member activities. What do we have? Uh, any updates for from anyone for tonight? Um, I did email the gentleman uh, that was asking about the telecommunications oh, yeah. facility. I did not hear anything back. No. Okay. Um, I'm not going to bet on them. No. Um, last week we had a stormwater committee meeting. Oh, yes. Um, and Mr. Kazal is doing an amazing job mm -hmm. um, moving us forward, okay. figuring out what we need to do for this year. Mm -hmm. I think we know what we need to do. Um, for the most part, um, this developing the materials that we need to present to the public and how we're going to do that. So I think we have another meeting you know, in, in March. The, um, I didn't mention it at the time, but we sort of glanced, glossed over it a little bit uh, until after the, the town election and the deciding on the, on the budget. But the dogway signs potentially could be um, part of this as well. Yep. And yeah, then I count toward one of the communications. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I think so, right? Yes. Yeah. It'd be a good thing to put in the report for next year. So that. potentially could be one other thing, a block you can check off for EPA. Yep. And I, I know it's early, but I wanted to, to ask really. So um, yes. one of the, uh, the the planning board meeting on the 5th, I have a conflict with you know, that there's a candidate meet and greet. I'm a, I'm a candidate for a town office in case. You are, are we running for? Yeah. Um, dog catcher? Perfect. <laughs> you can um, put up some signs. <laughs> Next scoop, right? Let's make sure a scoop. All right, so the fifth? The fifth. Um, so if one of you can act as ex officio. On Which, by the way, I'm eligible for now if nobody else wants to. Oh, that's to true, go. actually. You are the town of Florida. Yeah, you can go anyway. For the planning? As I have, brother, yeah. I'll, I'll fill in on the fifth, though. I'm happy to do it. Thank you. Thank you. What, uh, what time is that? Seven? Seven. Yeah. All right. I don't think there's anything on the agenda. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that because I'm not. I don't have my pulse on it anymore. There, there's, um, at this point, no. no. And I think it might be too late to get on the agenda even. So they could even cancel it. Although, technically, I don't think it's going to be. Technically, I think not, not but we'll find other things to talk about. Okay, so I am going to go then. Okay. <laughs> Seven o'clock. Adding that on. Thank you. Remember, we're planning board meeting a long time. It's fun. It's a d dwindling membership. I have applicants. It's going to be good. Oh, perfect. You, so you after, uh, yes. after Tuesday the 12th, we'll yes. 
consider them. All right. Do you have anything? I don't. I thought I had a rec committee meeting tomorrow, but I haven't seen anything out where I didn't get a response. So I don't know if it's tomorrow night or not. It might be next week. But other than that, I am doing some birds. Let me know if you need help with rec, if you want me to go. I think we're supposed to have a... I, I did review the application of the meeting, but if there's, soon you know... Too. I, thought, I thought she did a pretty good job what? on that. You mean the, she did. I talked about stuff with her that she said is going to be in the parent handbook. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, if you okay. want me there, I'm happy to be there. Yeah. I, I sent you an email and asked what the next meeting. I thought I had it here and I don't, so maybe we didn't stop on that. Celia's not here to remind me, so yeah. I think we have a meeting coming up. But on the 6th, I'll put a plug in for the library because I want to go to this. And I think we're on a conservation commission. They're having gardening for wildlife uh, discussion for the 4-H. Uh, no, to would encourage wildlife in. Like butterflies and that's what bees and things like that. Not fox. Not, not deer or fox and things like that. No. You get lots of chickens. That's how you encourage uh, the fox to come in. The coyotes. Mm -hmm. Plant strawberries for the deer. Not that much I know. I think this is more for plant bees and, and, and butterflies, and things, right? which I think is kind of cool. I'd like to be able to go to it, uh, if possible. All right. Building permits. I have them here. Do you want to do it? Sure. Else? There you go. Main Street. Um, answer my question. They were doing demolition, so I went to the post office. Uh, so it's a seven thousand dollar estimate of construction, and the fee's ninety five dollars. All right. And it's been reviewed by Mr. Clark. We'll grant the permit. Washington Street, um, placement of oil steam boiler using existing hook hookups for nine thousand dollars. The fee is one hundred and fifteen dollars. All right, it's been reviewed by Mr. Clark. This is a photocopy of one, I guess. Or yeah. Oh, this is the old. Uh, they submitted it electronically and like took an old one and kind of made it work. Well, they've got the, all the information we need on it, so that's fine, I guess. But it's granted. And, uh, I'm going to write it above because you won't be able to see it. Oh, is that what that void up area is? Well, no, there's areas that we're supposed to film in. We're going to sign it down here, I guess. And building permit 2019-008. Uh, 480 Stockdale Circle uh, for kitchen and bathroom renovation construction value $25,000. The fee is $275. All right. The ones we like to see. Mr. Clark has also reviewed this one. Four eighty Stockdale, sir. Um, have we issued any permits on Highland Avenue? Seventeen and three. Three might be expired, but seventeen is active. Seventeen is the apartment building on the corner. Yeah, no, it's, it's the the one with the mansion roof. Yeah. yeah, that's number three. That I'll, check, number. I'll check. So they had one. It might have expired. It might. I'll check into it. We should look and see what the scope of it was because there are 
put a hole well, in the addition. Quite a bit of stuff there, like they're putting an addition on the side of the house. Mm -hmm. Like a garage or something. It's mm -hmm. bizarre. But I don't remember that. I remember it's to make more something pilots. smaller, but I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but that's significant. I see it every night when I drive by. Thank you. Do you want to hear anything about the room you sent the letter on? Um, Pine Street. Pine Street. Oh, yeah, the one that's Yes. Um, yes. The people that completely gutted and renovated the well, house didn't know they were going So apparently it wasn't completely gutted. We had a conversation about that. The floors were refinished and it was oh, like a kitchen renovation essentially. And everything else was the removal of 30 yards of trash. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, the removal of trash is one thing, but the kitchen renovation is the Well, the whole so, house was right. renovated. That's not be fooled by that. The whole right. house, the whole first floor. Anyway. I, say, I remember looking at based that. Based on the pictures. Yeah. Well, based on the pictures. He said he, he did floors and he yeah. painted. The whole, the whole first floor. Well, right. So yeah. painting doesn't qualify. No. Oh, okay. No. So okay. I think he's good. Okay. But it's okay. been taken care of. Perfectly. Yeah. Yes. They came in. All right. So is that your file, your so, folders, right. your folders completed? What do we have in this one? Okay. So okay. we have a letter from um, Bill Irving. Um, to the Ronsville Select Board and to the Chief of uh, Police. And this is, um, please accept my resignation from the above mentioned committees effective this day. It has been a privilege to serve the committee of Rollinsford and this is resigning, resigning from the Budget Committee, Capital Improvement Committee, Highway Safety Committee. All right. Then. Dated 216 and 19. Well, we will accept Mr. Irving's resignation with regret. Thank him for his service. And Wish him well in his uh, future endeavors, and uh, uh, I know he already notified the budget committee, so mm -hmm. um, he must have notified Bobby as well. Do you know Bobby? No, he didn't Bobby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. So I have it. Yep. That's it. That's it. So we have a folder. All the rest is yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. That's all the uh, really? stuff we put really? in today. It's an invoice. Well, all right then. <laughs> and I have approved. Good. 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 Yes, George has one. Thanks, somewhere. Yes. Okay. Well, Lady told us he was he was keeping track of the right spreadsheet. Didn't that be us? Um, I think a spreadsheet might be a stretch, but I think okay. Was. Maybe we could uh, we could create a spreadsheet from his information. Who is it? The royal. Who is it? George. Okay, oh, it's a lady. Who else? I thought it was a lady. I didn't even know. I'm not a lady, but if lady has it, we're really out of luck. Oh, so George, yeah, we okay. might want to check and make sure it's not a handheld, uh, handwritten spreadsheet. No, there is one. Stratford Regional Planning gave us one yes. once upon yes. a time. Um, but it was it, it was partial. It wasn't... Uh, I, I don't know how partial it was or wasn't, but it was in map form. I'm not sure if it's um, in list form. But I think it is a good idea that we um, catalog <laughs> like, what their conditions are yeah, or, yes. like, dates with experiences. Especially well, when we find... Yeah, yeah, thank you for that. Especially when we find... If there truly is um, one underneath the uh, foundry, by the, uh, a second one by the Legion, we want to make sure it's on the list. Right. Thank you, Justice. Because I'm not sure that is complete. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just in, just to, for my FYI, when was the Budget Committee told about Bill Irving? They weren't. The chair was. The chair okay, was. Okay, thank you. So there will be. Notice of designation.